What's going on, everyone? Darkwater here, and welcome back to Airport CEO. We are back in our recreation of Philadelphia International. Glad to see you guys decided to join me again as we are uh, continuing our build here. Last time, ran into some slowing, to say the least. And actually, if we run the game too, the slowing comes back. So it is not a computer issue. I think it's more within the game itself. If it's paused, everything's fine. I can okay, correct it. Yeah, see, there we go. So I think it's an issue with what is actually happening and the game's trying to process different possible pathing from over here to down over here. And I think that because we've got so many pathing issues, it's just kind of really lagging the game. I'm going to start by adding a sidewalk here and see if that helps at all. Run it. Oh, that actually fixed it. Look at that. And people are starting to use the sidewalk. Cool. Well, that takes care of that. Uh, something else I do want to work with is get these two stands up and running. That way we can get all of A set up and rocking and rolling here. Uh, let's go upstairs and get ourselves some gates. Why, why, why am I missing walls here? Okay, well, there we go. But once we get that in, are you not connected? No? Okay. Things are, yeah, things are happening. But we've got this going. Today, I want to work on at least getting set up where the baggage claim area is. And the reason why we're doing that is there are walkways that go from here across where the train tracks are. Across, there's a, this is departure road. There's the train tracks. Then there's south commercial vehicle road that runs basically parallel to this one. That has pick up and drop off for, it looks like, uh, limousine, taxi, and uh, Uber Lyft, so rideshare apps. So that's all on those. Then you've got the area for baggage claim for B and C, which is here. A is a little bit further shifted over, so I have to kind of finagle where that's going. Above the baggage claim area is a rival road, and a rival road goes right along and splits between baggage claim and the parking garage. So there's a parking garage C? C? Yeah. So C is up here, parking garage. B is over more and is connected to parking garage A. And then above that, somewhere up here, will be the aptly named uh, Garage Access Road. So Philadelphia is good with uh, coming up with creative names for the roads. Very, uh, explicit that way people know exactly what they're where they're going that is not what i wanted i want to rotate this and we're going to drop the contractor site and the delivery site over here we're going to do a small extra road around so we don't get a lot of backup there this road working? Oh, you guys are finishing up. Tweaking that. In fact, let's speed things up. 
What is our problem? Stands are occupied. You are just now boarding. A lot of this delay is passengers over here. People are checking in over here. That's interesting. Checking in over here to come all the way over here. But then also trying to get through security, and I didn't bother to finish security over here either. Great. Let's do that real quick. So it's four, a wall, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That comes up to here. Wait, what? This is not the same width. Oh. Air traffic control goes here. Which is why I haven't fully fleshed out this stretch. But we're going to go ahead and do here. So that's the exit. Goes up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Goes to here in theory. Let's get our exit. I'm not going to set up B and C just yet. Mostly because I'm still hesitant. I want to get the other runway in first. Because I've got a feeling it's just going to absolutely overwhelm the airport. We're going to do a quick queue. We will slide over here to uh, get... No, we're not there. It's over one. One, two, three. We can add our wall in there, add a wall there. I mean, wall right there. Keep that one. Now, in the center area here is uh, some shops, bathrooms, information, more shops. So that's basically a wall here and here, and all this is shopping and uh, services there. So that'll take care of the security. I'm going to take that out. That road is working, so we can come in and go on the correct floor. Take out all of that. Now, going up, we're going to do a little bit of work kind of in the uh, train area here first. The train tracks run right along here. We'll kind of leave those, I think. And then we're going to go ahead and get some terminal foundation. The walkway is going to go across here. I think we're going to go with five. Hold on. It's the width of everything. S escalator is one square. Stairs is one square. Elevator is also a square. I'm going to need to bump this out more than I'm thinking. I think it's got to be five. Because it'll be stairs and then a wall, elevator, escalator with a wall. Elevator, we're going to run into issues because based on the map that I've seen, you go into the elevator on one side whenever you get down to the ground floor you exit on the opposite side and the elevators in game don't do that so we do need to have a little bit of walking around area so we're gonna go with a five by five square to start with we might tweak this a little bit but we've got basically where train tracks would go we've got the area with the train station platform right here it goes between a and b 
There's another one that goes between C and D we will add in in just a little bit. Another spot for the train tracks to go by. After that, we've got the drop-off area. In fact, give me some sidewalks so we can center this. Did I not sidewalk here? No. Of course not. So this is the center one. So it's five, six, seven. So it'd be up here. It's gonna go basically there. There we go. All right. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four car stops. We might as well let it run so they can build stuff. Four car stops. We'll do another set of sidewalks. There and here. And since we don't have uber stands or anything like that we'll do three and two with taxis and again one two three and one two filling in gaps with some sidewalk like so we'll grab some public road i'm not going to connect these just yet uh, people are going to get stuck in places and I don't need them stuck way over here right now. But we will get to that point. All of the roads do go left to right or east to west. And they all connect basically way over here. So we might do several different entrances. In fact, uh, South Commercial Vehicle Road comes over here and goes up and over and connects up with the arrival road so that'll be way down the road but it <laughs> winds around the baggage claim area for a and that's gonna be a little bit more work because there's two access points there's one over here and there's one over here where you also have the international uh, global entry area so that's going to be something that we have to deal with down the road as well. So we're going to come in with some sidewalks over here as well. And no, that's not right at all. That should go here. How did I manage that? I'm guessing because I was talking and bench. Uh, let's go ahead and get the car stops. We're going to mirror these on the other side. And assuming I remember to uh, flip the vehicle access, I have a bad tendency of getting that. Three and one. One, two, there we go. We're gonna add a sidewalk in there. We can get crosswalks. We don't get those. And leave some poor people stranded down over on this side. And we'll get sidewalk here and finish that off. Boom. Okay. So we got space for the train to go on either side on of the platform. It's, it's a skinny train. It's, it's, it's fine. Go with it. Now, the baggage claim building. Does it actually have a name? Yeah, baggage claim. Well, okay. Very clever. It is basically the same width here, which is 40. Why is that not even? Why are you not even? You're 23, you're 22. Oh, because you are not even. You're 9 and you're 10. That's right. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're good. I'm going to uh, 
I'm gonna go with that. Kind of okay with that. Uh, we're gonna line this up. Actually, three seems fairly good. Are you aligned? Yes. You are. Okay. And then the building comes out a little bit more. So I'm thinking five, one, two, three, four, five. And there's not a whole lot in this building. Let's go up to 11. That'll give us 14 across the middle section here. So we're going to take out this wall. But there's not a whole lot in here. There's basically bathrooms on either end. There's one, two, three carousels. And then just a small space. And then another one, two, three, four. And then there's the American Airlines uh baggage assistance office as well as it looks like another office or two in there as well as well as art and the light so we've got five here let's grab this We're on the first floor we need to go up a floor so i need to take out those two and I'm going to work on this side first, and then we will mirror it eventually onto this side. And we don't have enough security, do we? Staff. Uh, filter. Security. I've not trained anybody up. That's why the staff happiness is at a whopping 56%. So the reason why I'm taking out these two squares is that's the only way you can come across with like a, a sky bridge, if you will, so that it'll go over roads. You have to have area on both sections available to, uh, to do the bridge. This bridge continues on to the parking garage as well. Again, since I can't build on the, this level for parking garage, we'll have to do like some stairs down to the parking area here. This bridge also keeps going over to the... What is that? It is the Philadelphia Airport Marriott. Uh, it's got 4.1 stars on Google if you guys want. It's uh, 2,095 reviews if you guys were curious. The Aviation Grill is also over in this area. The bridge also connects on this side. Both of these go down stairs and elevator into the lower level for the baggage claim. In the center area on this floor, doesn't look like there's anything in there that's uh, public accessible. I almost called it public domain, but that's essentially what it is. Um... There are actually walk right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Dying tonight. Uh, I actually think we need... How wide are these? Two squares, two squares. At least two for just regular walk. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to... Expand this over. We're going to do one more square. We can take out, well, all of that for right now. But we'll do three across. You guys want to take out that one? There we go. Let's pause for a quick second just to get rid of that interior wall. There we go. So we'll have space for the walk later. also space for folks to walk. Because they're going to need to be able to walk to get to where the escalator and elevators are. We'll go ahead and we'll handle that real quick. So you guys are just hammering away on things. Let's... Oh, might as well put the walk later in here. Um... We want the large one. 
Yeah, actually, the large ones look like they're pretty much it. We'll do one that way. We'll do one the other way. And I don't think we need those walls. We do need a wall here, though. So you guys are building that. Now we can get ourselves our stairs. So there are stairs right here. Let's drop down a floor. We can add those guys in. There's an escalator. Okay, that is correct. <laughs> Wanted to make sure it was at least going the correct direction. And I think the escalator goes right here. And we'll do a wall there and wall there. Uh, do we have a hanger? Hold on. Okay, we do still have the hanger. Okay. I don't know why you just suddenly panicked thinking we didn't have a hanger. Uh, I take it back. Take out that. Take out. No, you're not going to let me take it out, are you? Want to add wall there, want to add wall there, but I know construction workers are going to get stuck back there because that's what they do. There's also the elevator. Now the elevator faces that direction, which is why we needed to make it a little bit wider. Because again, you can't build the elevator so you can go in one side, out the other side. We're going to do a wall there. It's going to be a small wall. There we go. And this we can do as well. Back. Just kind of do this. I'm going to come forward just so this is even. I will put a piece there. I'm not going to do it just yet. Because again, contractors are going to get stuck in place. Like this guy. I can do walls there now. There's a window right there. We drop down a floor. There is doors. And then a couple of art. Well, medium windows. There and there. And that's basically it in a nutshell. That's 5x5. Five five. So let's slide over to this side. Again, 5x5. Five five. I knew as soon as I put it in there, we would run into the middle. We're going to do... Big chunk of sidewalk. In fact, we're going to do it this side. Just running it out there. Because this is where your train platform is going to go. And we'll do the subway on either side. Don't think I could do train track. Uh, let's up up a floor and again we're gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking here so we'll take out those three as you guys are just hammering away on the uh train track or the uh sidewalks there
Go ahead and we'll stretch this up. Take out the interior wall there. Those are gone, so we could do three across. Up somewhere there, we can fill it that. Get rid of you. Come in here, grab you two. You right there. Need no. Nope. Don't need those. Don't need those two. Grab a little square there. Let's drop down and Stairs go here. Oh. You guys can get rid of that wall, please. In the meantime, we can get the escalator in, I guess. Here. Figure out where the elevator goes. Here. Go ahead and, uh, you know, fill in our walls. I believe theirs will fit right. Go ahead and, you know, get a door over here for the construction workers to at least be a little bit more easily get in. Window, window. Up floor. Window. Put our walls in here. that we can get those walls built. Why is everybody just kind of hanging out over here now? That's intriguing, to say the least. My subway. Subway. We're going to come in and... I may... Oh... Hold on. Is there a... F There's a fence right there. Is there? Yes, indeed. Looks like there's a fence that runs between the departure road and the train. Kind of wanted to make sure that got added in, but apparently... Well, I take that back. It's just a concrete device. Do I stand corrected on that? And then the platform's just open air, and it is fairly close. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a subway there, we're going to do a subway here. We're going to go ahead and connect up the sidewalk there and there. And that'll allow people to come down here and access, and then we'll get rid of those two. And just kind of make people access the, uh, the platform here. We can do the same thing over here. I'm not going to go out as far. Mostly because I don't know where Concourse or uh, Terminal D is. 
So that's going to have to be something we uh, deal with in the near future as well. Did I leave that in? Yes, I did. We can fix that here momentarily. We'll do that and that. Meantime, we'll stretch that out, stretch that out. Now we've got a couple subway or train platforms. Uh, I think I have to get rid of that sidewalk this way. Oh, you guys are going to be grouchy, aren't you? Here. You guys can just cross there. We've got our two bridges going across. We're short on security. Uh, let's real quick come up and stretch that out. In fact, we will do... No, we won't. <laughs> oh, we had more money than we do. We'll take that out. We will hop on down. What are you... Oh, you're a construction. Okay. Try to figure out why there's people there. Real quick, let's uh, come through, add in some doors so people can actually get in. And I think next time... Um, I don't know if we have a stand available. Maybe? Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you fit right there? Ah, you can fit right there though. Hey, look at that. So we've got our train stands going. I think next time... I'm gonna get rid of that additional portion. I think next time is kind of mapping out where Concourse D is going. And looking ahead to E and F. So that's going to be that's gonna be something else. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here, and I look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a spectacular day. Mm -hmm.